In this video, you will learn how to install WordPress on your local host using Bitnami for exam. And also, you will learn to copy the website on your local host to your server with all the configurations intact. This is quite simple compared to the manual installation using XAMPP. But the prerequisite is you need to have installed XAMPP control panel, but you don't need to manually configure WordPress by defining the root, password, username, database name, etc. on WP config file. So, avoids most of the troubles caused by the manual configuration because some users faced several issues while configuring their WordPress website on their own computer using the manual method. So in this video, we are going to see how to install WordPress using Bitnami for XAMPP. Go to bitnami.com slash stack slash XAMPP and then under the WordPress section, come to WordPress module 4.5 and then choose the download button according to your platform. If you are using OS X, that is Mac, then click download button respective to OS X. If you are using Windows, then click on the green download button. If you are using Linux 32 bit, then go with just Linux. If you are using Linux 64 bit, then go with Linux 64 bit. Just click on the download button, then you will get a pop up where you can either log in or just select no thanks, just take me to download. Click on no thanks. You will be redirected to the download page and your download will start. I have already downloaded. So let me continue with the installation. Now let's click on this Bitnami installer to install Bitnami. Choose English or any other language that you want. Then click OK. You will get this Bitnami setup. Click on Next. This Bitnami for WordPress module requires a pre existing installation of XAMPP or Bitnami. So, since I have already ha got XAMPP installed on my PC on D colon slash XAMPP, normally you could have got on C colon, but I have installed on D, that's why I have chosen D colon slash XAMPP. So, this should be the target location for Bitnami for WordPress 2. You cannot install XAMPP at one location and Bitnami for WordPress at another location. Both should be on the same folders. So choose your XAMPP installation folder and then click next. Let's start the XAMPP control panel before we proceed with the installation. Start Apache module and MySQL module. Now enter a password for the application. This could be the password for your WordPress website. So let's go with the default 123456, 123456, click on next. Let the name of the blog be restore demo. Since we are going to demonstrate how to restore the localhost WordPress website to a blank or empty WordPress on your server, click on next. Let's skip the SMTP part or the mail support, click on next again and uncheck Bitnami cloud hosting. This is kind kind of an advertisement. So move on to next. Your Bitnami installation should start now and will install your local host based WordPress. Don't worry if you get this error on XAMPP control panel because Bitnami will trigger its own Apache module instead of the Apache module on XAMPP control panel. This Bitnami for WordPress comes with an uninstall module, which means if you don't want your local WordPress website, then you can just uninstall this Bitnami module, which will also remove your WordPress website, that is local WordPress website alone. But it would also give you an option to back up the database of your WordPress, which is kind of good from my point of view. So now launch Bitnami WordPress module. Leave it checked and click finish. This is our local WordPress website.
let's go into the dashboard the username is admin and the password is 123456 which you have given while installing bitnami by default bitnami's wordpress website comes with a list of plugins let's uninstall all of them or delete all of them refresh this page once again now we need to install a plugin called fakerpress which will fakely create multiple posts so that our website looks like a finished website later we can transform or move this website to our server fakerpress plugin has got installed successfully now let's activate the plugin Now go to fakerpress on the left side panel and then go to post then let me give 10 to 12 random posts to be generated let me click on generate this will create random 10 to 12 posts maybe 11 maybe 10 or maybe 12 itself with some random content and random images so that this website will look like a complete website and let me install some one or two plugins so that when we restore this to a live website it looks like a complete one the generation has got completed now let's visit our site we have got variables various posts with content images etc we have got around 10 posts i guess so now we are going to shift this website from our local host to our server so let's keep this as it is and let me go to my server come to your cpanel and click on your soft atlas for wordpress then click install here i'm going to choose a subdomain and let me choose folder called wordpress leave the site name to anything you wish and admin password to one two three four five six but this is an actual website which anyone can access it's better to give some strong password but i will delete this website as soon as i complete this tutorial so i don't need to worry about but in your case you need to give a strong username and password but if you give any other username other than admin or any other password other than the one you have given for your bitnami local website only that will come into action not this one after you have restored if you haven't understood what i have said then just leave it you will come to know in just five to ten minutes now this is the most important part actually you can have any other database name the database name doesn't matter but the table prefix is the most important one because we are going to delete the table of this server's wordpress website or the wordpress website on your server and then we are going to extract the sql database of your local host wordpress website and then insert it into this server's wordpress website both should have the same table prefix if any of one have a different table prefix then we need to change them using any text editor files which will make this process a tedious one so always remember the table prefix should be wp underscore click install go to this administrator url and let's open the website too this is our server wordpress website or the wordpress website on our server and this is the dashboard of this same website let's come back to our local host website and let me install super catch just to add some plugin let's activate it and configure it in just a minute or so 
I'm not going to dig deep in this configuration. Just I have turned on the caching. And it's using PHP method, not the moderate or legacy. So leave it as it is. Now let's go to the update section. Oh, there is some translations available. These translation came with the Bitnami. Normal WordPress doesn't have these translations in WordPress updates. And you can do nothing about that. So this is our restore demo website. This is how it looks like the final. Open XAMPP control panel and then click on MySQL's admin, which will open your PHP My Admin. Then you would have got Bitnami underscore WordPress. This is a database created by this localhost WordPress website. Go to export and then click go. Click show in folder. Right click and then click edit. Or if you have got Notepad, click edit with Notepad. It's advisable to edit in Notepad instead of just Notepad. Okay, we have got it open here. Now, if you come down, you will get WP options. Just select this URL, copy it, and then press Ctrl H. Replace it with your server URL. That is, in my case, it's udemy.inspirerun.com slash WordPress. And a final slash. Replace all there were 63 occurrences that were replaced now click close and then go to file then click save not save as click save or just press ctrl s now close this this is the sql file you need to update on your server Here is my server. Let me go to PHP My Admin. Say expand this WP199. This is a database of new website that I have created just now. Go to import. Oh, sorry, sorry. Before that, check all and then select drop. Yes, let me confirm it to delete it. Go to import and then choose the file. Choose our bitnami underscore wordpress, then click open, then click go. This will import all the database of our localhost wordpress website to the wordpress website on our server. But you have got another important job. Go to file manager and go to the location of your website. This is the location of my website. Go to WP content, then put it aside on one corner. Open your XAMPP. Go to apps, WordPress, HTDocs, and then WP content. Here you need to copy plugins, themes, and then uploads. Then replace it with the plugins, themes, uploads. That you can see on your server. For that, select all these. Actually, I haven't installed any themes, so I don't need to include themes. But let me include that just to show you how this actually works for everyone. Click Add to Archive, choose Zip, not RAR format. Click OK. This will compress all these four, three folders into one. Now Click upload. This is very very important part. If you just leave with just importing the SQL database, your site won't get 
moved from your local host to server. You need to copy these three contents because all the plugins that you use on your local WordPress website will be in this folder. All the themes that you have configured will be in themes. All the uploads, that is the images that you have uploaded to your post will be in this upload section. So these three folders are very, very important to be moved to your server. The upload has got completed. Let me go back to that folder. Choose all these three folders and then delete it. Confirm. Now select this zip and then click extract. Now our job has got completed. This is our demo website and demo dashboard on our local host C127.0.0.1. Let me go to Udemy. Use the same username and password which you have used on your local host because we have changed the database only that will work here now let's go to our visit site we have mistakenly restored to some other database actually inspire a hyphen wp is a database of the new website so let me drop this one yes and let me import bitnami click open and click go you can do in any order you can first import the sql and then import the folders or you can just import the folder and then import the sql now if i refresh it will ask me the username and password again now we need to give the username and password of our local host wordpress website now we have got our restore demo website online see this was the website and this is the website this should be the exact ditto of our local host website see now this website is on our server this website is on our local host everything is same right so this is how you should import the WordPress website on your local host to your server. If you like this tutorial, then please click on the like button. If you want to share it with your friends or your colleagues, click share and share with them on Facebook or Twitter or any channel. And if you wish to see more tutorials like this, then please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.